everyone, I'm Carly. I just wanted to go through with you today some of the things that I really was so glad that I took when my dad and I walked the Camino Frances uh, earlier this year. So I've got a few things here to go through with you. And uh, first up is these. These are my Solomon hiking shoes. I began a walk with a pair of Hoka 1-1 uh, hiking boots. These hiking shoes were so good. I only bought these when we got to Burgos. Obviously it makes sense, you need a really good shoe. Um, but these were awesome. They had this little kind of toggle, so you just pull on this to tighten them. And that made everything so easy. Um, they've got a toe kind of protector here. And I just found that these were amazing. They saved my feet after suffering some, from some pretty bad blisters. Um, so highly recommend getting those. Uh, I also recommend these socks. These are by a brand called Lorpen. Um, they're a fairly thin sock. They have something called a Cool Max technology and um, after wearing really thick merino socks these were so good. I found my feet got really hot and sweaty and that caused friction and blisters. So I really recommend getting something like this. Some days I would take a second pair on the outside of my pack and um, change into them depending if they got wet or something like that but really good. Um, you can buy these when you get over there but yeah, highly recommend Lorpen. Uh, another thing that we found out pretty quickly that we needed were these. Um, some these are called Recuperation Hydra Sport. These are two sachets. Um, we've got some extras here. On the first day when we climbed over um, to Roncesvalles, the climb just caused us to cramp, and it took us, I think, 8:30 to it took us like about 10 hours that day. Um, and so for the rest of the time we had one water bottle with water in it and one with something like this, like a hydrolyte or something like that. So I definitely recommend that, especially at the beginning when your body's not really used to the walk. Um, so highly, highly recommend, well worth it. So before I left, my friend Jane packed me a heap of medical supplies and one thing I definitely recommend um, to prevent blisters is something like this. This is just the card with what it is on there. Basically it's called OmniFix. I think it has a couple of different names. It call, it's called Non-Woven Retention Tape. Um, if I can find a link to some, I'll link that below. But basically, this was like a sticky white tape um, that you could cut into whatever uh, dimensions you want. And Dad and I would stick this if we had, stick it on our toes if our boots were rubbing or I pretty much stuck it on my heels every day after my blisters cleared up a bit. I'd stick it over them, over where it was so that it would prevent me from getting any further blistering. This was just amazing, really good. We went through about three rolls of it um, because why be stingy when you can um, fix your feet. Uh, and this, I wouldn't go without this. I recommend this way more than Compede but it's probably a bit controversial. Um, one thing I would never leave home without now to do the Camino would be rain pants. These are just a generic brand that um, I got in Castro Wearers? Castro Wearers? I don't know. Um, but basically, this is an double XL. The sizing is very, uh, uh, not very generous. Um, these are 100% polyester. They have clips up the side and zippers like you're a rain dancing stripper but um, we had two days where it was full on rain and then probably another four days of constant drizzle um, and I thought these were great. I just wore them over my tights which um, I also wanted to mention. These are a pair of Lululemon tights. They have zippers on both sides so I would usually have my phone in one side and my lip balm and um, tissues in another side. And it just meant that if I need to get my phone out quickly to take a picture or take some video footage, I had it handy. But, um, honestly, they were fantastic. I wore them, I would say, 95% of the time. Um, they were really comfy, plenty of stretch, so I highly recommend those. For women who just don't find hiking pants comfortable, I hated my uh, Clark's zip-off hiking pants. I only wore them three times, I think. Um, yeah, so love these Lululemon ones. I also had two Lululemon tops that I wanted to mention but are in storage now and they were really good so um, I'll link them below. I think it's the Run Swiftly short sleeve top and then I had another shirt, a stripy one, 
I wore, which was a very thin lycra, almost like a um, swim shirt, a rashi. Uh, and this had some holes in it so it vent was easily ventilated. But um, it was really good. And I wore that most days, even if it was warm, because it would keep the sun off me. So my buff was definitely a must-have item. Every website says you should get a buff. This one was merino wool. And I found that the best thing about it was it's really stretchy. So, um, obviously I never wore my hair down. But I would wear it just over my ears ooh, um, every day. And it would keep my ears warm and I could just pull it down a little bit. It did that a lot. Um, or, if it was quite cold, I would pop it on my head, wind it around, and then turn it into a beanie. Um, and so this I just think was fantastic. I like this better than um, another buff. Dad ordered a buff early. And the original ones aren't as stretchy um, as this one, so merino wool, really lovely. Obviously one must have item is a waterproof jacket. This is a mountain designs jacket. It is Gore-Tex um, material, which is what everybody says you should have. It has a zip-off hood, which I love because it meant that um, there wasn't always something pressing on the back of my neck. You know, it's frustrating enough sometimes when your backpack comes up quite high. Um, so this was really handy. If it was raining, I would just keep this... Well, basically, I would keep it in the uh, rain cover over my bag. I walked with my rain cover on a lot of the time because I could just slip things in behind me as we were walking. But this was great. Obviously the pink keeps you from taking things too seriously. I think it was on sale for about $150. Normally they're around $250 maybe. Um, I'll leave a link below if I can find one. There were um, black coats which looked much chicer, but for the price this was fine. And um, you don't want to get lost on the Pyrenees and not be able to be found. So pink worked for us. Another thing that was excellent was this sack. Basically in here I would put my sleeping bag and I would also put my, so my earplugs. You cannot go without these. I had about six pairs and um, I wish I could find some super strength ones because there were some very bad snorers. Uh, and I'd also put in there my pillowcase and an eye mask. When we got anywhere I'd unclip it from the bottom of my backpack, put my sleeping sack out and I'd know that all I had to do was unfold the things inside and um, I was ready. Another thing in terms of beds, I took my own pyjamas. So these are just a cotton pair of Peter Alexander pyjamas. Obviously you don't need nice Peter Alexander pyjamas, but they had a button down top and uh, three quarter bottoms and they were cotton. And I found that after being in fabric that didn't really breathe as well during the day, I wanted something that was just nice and comfy and I didn't have to worry about you know, I was there with my dad, I didn't have to worry about walking around in my underwear um, or being around strangers. Not that I, I didn't care what they wore to bed, but I just felt really comfortable in this and I felt comfortable enough that I could get up and go to the bathroom at night or walk around in the evening if I wanted to in this. I also would recommend just getting a couple of these hooks. Um, get better brands than cheap ones just because dad had probably three break when we were away. Um, we use these to clip our thongs, our flip flops, onto the back of our backpack. So when you get to an albergue, you'd have to take your boots off almost straight away. And so it just meant that we could just clip our thongs off, take our boots off and put them, put our, our thongs straight on. Tender. So it was just easy, just stuff like that to make your life a little bit easy, I think was fantastic. I think my last thing is probably this jumper. This is just a feeler um, school sport jumper that I had. It's got a zipper neck. Um, it's one of those, it's just plain fleece. I wore this a lot in the evening. So I'd wear sometimes this shirt, sometimes just this um, with some black kind of three quarter pants. And I had these little croc ballet flats or my thongs. And um, this was so comfy because it was quite cold when we were there. This would keep me warm or I'd even put a flannel underneath it. Um, and this was just fine. I felt really comfortable in it. I would also some nights even have this on the pillow that I slept on because it was really nice and soft and it reminds me of home. And so, I don't know, it was nice to have something like this that you've worn before and you love and you know it's comfortable. Oh. One last thing was um, dry sack. So we were told by a lot of people to put everything in a dry sack, like have separate ones for different items of clothing. 
I had one dry sack that had socks and underwear and a, and a couple of just little bits and pieces in um, and that would usually go on the top of my suitcase but this little one I had things like um, a um, face moisturiser, my comb, um, a hairbrush, just really basic things like that. Um, and they, they were all my toiletries, sorry, so I had my shampoo in there as well. And it just meant that every evening when I went to the bathroom, I just had to take this with me. And because it is a dry sack, it keeps the liquids and things like that from spilling anywhere. Um, and it also meant that if I need to wash it out, I could just wash it easily and it would dry. It was just a little bit more durable than your humble... Um, Ziploc bag. So I do hope that you enjoyed this. This is my first YouTube video. Um, piece to camera and uh, this is the second time I filmed it because I was a bit out of focus last time so hopefully this all works out fine. If you have any questions please leave them below. Uh, I highly recommend doing Camino if you've been interested and so I'd love to hear what you think you might be taking um, or if you have any uh, queries about what would be a better item or a um, more versatile thing to take or uh, if you have a YouTube channel where you've talked about the Camino, I'd really love to hear it. So I hope you like it and I'll see you next time. Bye.